All right, you know who it is, and you know what I do. It's your boy Mac from SoundSavvy.com, the community for true fans of real music. We on the scene once again in my favorite city, ATL Georgia, with my man. Somebody I've been a fan of for a long, long time, man. From the group 112, it's Deron Jones. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's up? You know, put your stunner shades yeah, on. Yeah, man, hold on, man. It's A-Town, East Side, it's on 6 and thing. Wet Willis, man, what? That's what's up. That's what's up. They're down on Twitter, they're coming up here. Everybody coming, man. Yeah, man that's another one. He coming. As a, he's on Twitter, and, and, and we're, we're actually, like, tweeting right now because we're all Twitter addicts, so follow him, Deron Jones Music, at Deron Jones Music. That's right. So man, it's been a long time. It's been a while since we heard anything from from you, from 112. What's been going on? What you got going on right now? Right now, I got a solo album dropping. A new single called Money. So you know, the object is that the recession is over. That's it. You know, when I was talking to somebody about this the other day. It's like to people, like you said, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Like so, to the people that are fans of myself, fans of 112, you know, it's kind of been a musical recession as well because you know they they want some new music from the people that they directly related to. So money recession is over and the music recession is over. So that's what this thing is about. It's a movement. DPS. That's okay. And money got a nice, nice upbeat type of vibe to make you feel good type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, so money is the new single. Um, tell me about your new album. The new album is called Uncensored. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, the title came from me being a product of arts development and coming into the business as a child. You know, I was like 17, 16 really when I got into the business. I was signed at 17. And at that time, you know, I had to kind of just do as I was told. So in a lot of ways, the things that I would say musically were sensitive. So now I'm grown now, I can say whatever I want to say. And that's what this album is about, me expressing myself completely. Okay, okay. Now, uncensored sounds like we might have to, you know, we used to Deron being the nice guy, you know what I'm saying? We used to the smooth R&B, the crooning yeah, yeah. and everything. So so, um, so tell me about some of the tracks that's on there. Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, label deals, just life in general? Yeah, we're talking about life. It encompasses the whole game of life, you know? So, okay. I mean, just expressing good music, some honesty. That's, that's what it's about. Okay. And you pushing that independently, right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. The single's on iTunes now, so make sure y'all go cop that. Support the independence. That's right. That's right. And you can get it on. You can get the link for it on SoundSavvy.com. Now yes, you're pushing this through through DPS. Tell me about that. DPS is my production company. We've been uh, I've been producing the right records through DPS since 1996. My first uh, hit record was Cupid 112. A lot of the hits that I did was, was through 112. Uh, with DPS, my company. I've written and produced songs for Usher Rayman, Keisha Cole, I Should Have Cheated, uh, Jamie Foxx, B.I.G., R. Kelly, Loving You Tonight, uh, Jamie, uh, it goes on and on. Kelly Price, the Osley Brothers, New Edition. Yeah. So I've been doing that up on the radar for a while. And now, you know, I'm going to be the first artist that I'm pushing through my company and we're expanding now into a label. Okay. And you work with a lot of artists. Anybody you haven't worked with that you still want to work with? I want to work with Alicia Keys. Yeah. Um, I want to work with Daughtry. I like his sound. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Huge of fan of Daughtry. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people I want to work with. I, I like Travis Porter too. Okay. I, I really like their movement. I respect their movement. I was just on Twitter talking about that. So. Uh huh. I, I, I want to work with them. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, with um, with DPS, that's your label that you're pushing. Are you grooming any other artists right now that you're working with? Yes, sir. I have a, I have an R&B group called Premier. I have a, a pop hop artist. We're branding a new form of music. We're branding it as pop hop, and that's popular music trends. We're meeting uh, the hip hop swag and Courtney Michelle. She's gonna be the ambassador for that. I got my sister. She goes by the name of Sunny Jones. Um, Charlie the B. Fans. Charlie yeah. B. International artist. So. I mean, am I forgetting somebody? I don't want to forget um, nobody. Charlie D. Sunny, T. I mean, that's probably about that's everybody right now. So, like, you got a nice little line up there. Oh, yeah. Definition of platinum sound. That's what's up. Now, now you know everybody's going to ask this, so I, I, I got to do my readers justice. What's, what's going on with 112, man? Okay. I know everybody was hearing about the breakup and things of that nature. And we did separate for a minute. You know, we had a few differences internally with this group, creatively and otherwise. And, you know, Slim and made a solo album, and we support him in that. And make sure y'all go top Slim solo album. And right now, uh, me and Mike and Q, we've decided to do a reunion. Okay. Because, you know, I was getting so much, uh, so many messages on MySpace, Facebook, Twitter from all the fans. You know, they missed the old 112, they missed the sound. And me, Mike, and Q are going to come together and do it. 
Okay, so Slim's not gonna be part of it? Slim's not gonna be part of it now. He's still doing this on solo. Okay, okay. So do you think that that's gonna affect any of the balance of the group with Slim not being there? Um, I really don't, and I, and I say that because I mean, history has proven with the other groups, you know, you have groups like No Edition. You know, at one time it was Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, and then they put Johnny in the group, and I feel like when I look at that brand, I, you can't change 112. You, you can just you can change the members, you can change the music, but 112 is always going to be a brand that people love and that they go to to get on the music from. And I look at Bell Bill DeVoe, they, they separated and created another brand, and it was, it was different. I've I just kind of seen this throughout history, and it's, it's never really affected the brand in a negative way. As long as we you know, stay true to the foundation of success, you know, hard work, you know, we'll, we'll be all right. Definitely, definitely. And I think it's important because you guys will be filling a void. It's kind of like a void in the industry right now of R and B male R and B groups. Absolutely. I mean, Day Twenty Six is is coming along, but you know they know one twelve. Well, one twelve is a self contained entity. You know, you have a production and the sound coming from from me and the rest of the guys, and we're not. You know, everything is in our so it just it, it makes a uniqueness for our sound. Good. And when it comes to other artists today, like is there anybody in particular, I know you mentioned Travis Porter, but any, any other artists, particularly in R&B, that you're definitely feeling? I like Trey songs, man. I really yeah. like, I like the way Trey's doing it. I like the way he stayed consistent, and, and now I feel like he's like one of the biggest names in R&B. But I feel like five years ago he wasn't. But he stayed consistent and he stayed grinding. His music got better and better over time. I really like, uh, I really like that. I think he's doing big things for R&B. That's what's up, anybody else? Um, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. I, I really like Chris Brown, man. I, I want to help Chris Brown. I think this new project was a great project. I just hope that, you know, the fans, you know, just forgive him and become more receptive to, to, his, to his music. Because I really like his new album. I like the Crawl record and there's a couple of other records that I like on there. You know, I'm in his corner. Yeah, I kind of feel like Chris Brown is being blackballed right now. You know, yeah. Because of the incident, but you know, he put out a solid album and he put out a, a solid mixtape just a couple weeks ago. That in my zone is pretty, pretty high. So, so Chris, just keep grinding, man. Shake the haters off. Man. Definitely, definitely. So let's get back to the talk about your solo album. Um, now I know you write and produce. Um, are you working with any other producers or writers on your project? Or is it all? Yeah, it's pretty much all. Man. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. And when can we expect that album? Man, I'm gonna try to get it out before the end of the summer, but you know, I gotta, I really, my focus right now is just to create the type of momentum on my single where, you know what I'm saying, where I'm comfortable with the release my album. And I see a lot of artists with the labels, you know, labels just push their album out. And that's one thing about being independent, like I ain't gotta worry about that. I can take my time and build my single, let it down and get it buzzing, get it to the radio, get it at certain, you know, numbers, spin to support to where my momentum makes sense to release my project versus just put me out on the assembly line. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Any any ballads, any, any jams in particular that, that you think thinking about it now that are gonna be on your album that you think will be standouts? Boy, I got a song called OMG. Oh yeah. And I released a snippet of it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. and that's the biggest response I've ever got. So far. Really? Like What's the vibe of that record? All, all the ladies know that it's a baby man. Uh, they, they love it and they want to run it back, run it back. They always tweet about it or comment about it or give me messages about it. So mm -hmm. that OMG is the one. So that's gonna be the next single? Yeah, probably. Yeah, the one okay. like. Cool, cool. Working on any videos or anything to accompany it? Yeah, we got some in the works. We got some in the works. We just trying to find the right director at the moment. You know, we want to find somebody that's hungry and that's really uh, enthusiastic about the movement. Yeah. Cool, cool. Anything else in particular you want to say to your fans? You might ask to see the interview. Oh yeah, I want to say thank y'all for the support. DPS is in the building. The definition of platinum sounds. We down here in Atlanta, man. We run Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's how we doing it. We love y'all. God bless. That's what's up. And you know you can check this interview out and all of Deron's music on SoundSavvy.com. Check us out. Follow us on Twitter, Deron Jones Music, and at SoundSavvy. That's it, and we out. We out. Bow. Bow.